Hi, I'm Ryan Webb at Ryan Webb Construction Limited. This is job number three. Uh, the job has been completed. Um, it all got accepted for planning permission. Uh, they had made some alterations, which they didn't, uh, which they didn't submit to the council. So um, the planning officer has come round after a complaint from the neighbour and has asked us to reduce the roof. I'm here to do that work. So if you follow me through, you'll see what we're doing. Uh, we've we've dropped, uh, we've taken down the ceiling, removed all the Celotex. Um, so uh, we're preparing ourselves to drop the roof. We've had the electrician in to uh, disconnect a few of the lights. Um, he's still got a little bit more work to do. But if you turn around and have a look over here, you'll see the, the data mark I put, which is going to be the new level of the ceiling, which will conform with the plan officer's um, requests. Uh, if you come back and in the next video, you'll see um, the finished product. Hi, this is Ryan Webb at Ryan Webb Construction Limited. We're back at project number three. Uh, we've just finished altering the structure of the roof. Obviously, as you know, we had to drop the roof down. Um, we've conformed to exactly what the planning officer has asked and it has now been passed. Um, basically, what we've done is we've dropped the, the ceiling height down approximately 600 mil and we've had to get rid of the parapet walls, unfortunately, and we've replaced it with um, an anthracite fascia with the gutter in and we've finished off all the trims and details. Um, it's a different uh, type of roof we've used, a uh, type of uh, roof layer, um, which is very similar to single ply, but I believe it's an EPDM system. Um, we've also had all the tiles all put back in, we've had it all plastered. We have these um, rimless lights gone back in, which were there originally, and um, obviously Going forward, we've been thinking about uh, the potential of putting in a uh, roof light. So what we've done is built a structure around uh, with the future in mind. Uh, so one day we can come back, cut it all out, open it up and stick a roof light in. Um, it's come down quite a considerable amount, but you don't really feel the difference. Uh, the way we've incorporated it with the vaulted ceiling, it just comes down and it comes across very, uh, very nicely. Uh, we've also um, boxed in around the top. It's uh, not entirely finished yet, but we're planning on, uh, well, the client is planning on having some LED lights up there f shining up uh, against the ceiling. Um, we've obviously, you can see the lights and stuff up here, which have gone back in, and the plastering work's all been completed. Uh, we're just waiting now for a painter to come along and finish all the rest there. So let me take you outside, then I'll show you the exterior. So as you can see, we've reconnected the gutter in, um, the fascias and stuff are all on. We've we've neatened up here because we've had a bit of um, we had a little bit of an issue with the the way the structure worked. It had a beam running through was quadruple nine nine by two, which was taking all the vaulted ceiling and a new flat roof. Obviously, where we've had to make the alteration six hundred down, we've had no choice but to to have it part exposed. So we've boxed it in to allow the airflow to work around it into the existing roof and try to make the best feature of it as we can. As you can see, it's actually quite neat and it works quite well. And uh, we've connected up all, uh, all the gutter into existing drainage and luckily uh, had no damages to the monocouche render. Um, what a lot of people don't realize is with monocouche, you don't really, you, it's not really a repairable project or, or product rather. Um, it's something which uh, you, you do struggle to repair. So you're left with only two choices in my book, repair it and make it look horrible or replace the whole lot. Uh, luckily for us, we didn't do any damage to it. We worked really carefully and everything's gone back and everything's gone really smoothly. So uh, let me take you upstairs. We'll have a look out the window through the loft conversion and you'll be able to see the work we've done up there. Follow me through. So if we have a look outside here, you can see um, the, the new tiling, the new tiles we've had to put in. They don't match exactly because of the, obviously they're new tiles and they're going against the old. And uh, you can see the, the roofing system we've used um, and uh, the detail. If you look at that boxing section down there, um, you'll see that that's, that's the quadruple nine by two, which we've had to, to box in, which uh, unfortunately isn't the greatest of features, but uh, considering 
the way uh, the planning had rejected the height, we was left with no choice really. So we're gonna go downstairs now and we're gonna talk about what's left to be done on the project. So um, all that's left to do on this project is a little bit of electrical work, um, a few lights need to be finished, some feature lighting, and um, also all that's left is the painting, and then that's job complete. So that concludes uh, project number three. I hope you come and join me next time. Hi there, my name's John, I'm the homeowner. Um, we've had recently had a renovation back in August. Uh, we came across some serious problems with the council uh, and we had to reduce uh, part of our new extension down. So we called upon Ryan, Ryan Webb Construction, who took the job on for us, uh, started exactly when he said he was gonna start, came in, did an amazing job, um, you know, through quite difficult weather as well. Um, the guys were always here and not once did they let us down. Um, the job was completed uh, within two weeks and um, hopefully, as, as you'll see from the pictures, he's done a fantastic job um, and it actually does look better than it used to. Uh, so as far as, uh, as Ryan's work, work ethic goes, um, he's reliable, very trustworthy, which is a hard thing to find uh, you know, for, for people like us who don't really know trade people or uh, haven't done much in the way of trade, trade work before. Um, just thoroughly reliable and uh, we, as a family we really recommend him 100%.